Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn a method of finding the cross product by using matrix determinant. Algebraically, we can find the cross product formula by taking the determinant of the two vectors. And as in geometrical method, we can use uh, we can use the formula of cross product of two uh, vectors that is a b sine theta. But there we need a uh, need an angle. But here we know we don't need an angle, but we just need two vectors to find the cross product. Let's say we have a vector a, a, a x, a y, a z. As in cross product, we must have uh, the vectors in 3D space. So, uh, we will define a vector by x, y and z component. Then we have another vector b, b x, b y and b z. Now, let's see how you can use a method of matrix determinant in order to find the cross product of the two vectors. So, a cross b will be equals to i, j, K, where i, j, k are the uh, unit vectors in the direct direction of x, y and z. Then we have a x, a y, a z. This is a vector a. Then b x, b y, b z. So this is uh, the uh, matrix form of the two vectors. Now we will find its determinant by taking this i first. We will write i here. And then what we have to do as in case of the uh, formal determinant method is we have to ignore the row and column of that element and we have to take the rest of the element of the matrix. So, I will take the rest as a y a z b y b z minus minus is uh, basically uh, in the formula you can say of the determinant method. So, minus j this j and what we have to do we have to ignore this row in which j lies and the column of the j and we have to take the rest of the elements. So, a x b x a z b z. Then we have to take this k. Now, the formula sign will be plus and will k here. What we have to do? We have to ignore this column and this row and we have to take the rest of the elements. That is a x b x a y and b y. Now, what we have to do is the next the next step is we have to write it as i into we have to multiply them in diagonal and put the negative sign between them. So, a y b z minus a z b y minus j here we have like this again a x b z minus a z b x plus k again like this we will write a x b y minus a y b x so this is how you can find the cross product of the two vectors by using the matrix determinant method. So, we will stop here. Now, it is clear from here that this will be equals to the resultant vector C x, this will be equals to the resultant vector C y and this will be equals to the resultant vector C z. Now, let us take an example and apply this determinant method on that so that we can have clear concept. So, the example is if we are given with the vector a is 2, 3, 4, and the other vector is 5, 6, 7. So, let us use the determinant method as for finding the cross product of the two vectors. That is equals to i, j, k are the unit vectors. 2, 3, 4 is the vector a. 5, 5, 6, 7 is another vector. So, what we have to do is we have to write i here and this and this row will be ignored. And what we will do, we will multiply the rest as we have do in the uh, determinant method that is 7 3 is 21 minus 6 4 is 24. Similarly, we have to write minus j here and to ignore this row and this column and to multiply the rest 7 2 is 14 minus 20 plus k and we have to ignore this row and this column and, and multiply the rest as 12 minus 15. So, if we solve it, we will get i. 21 minus 24 is minus 3, minus j 14 minus 20 is minus 6, plus k 12 minus 15 is minus 3, it will be equals to minus 3i plus 6j minus 3k. So, this is what? This is basically a resultant vector that we will get by using the matrix determinant method. So, this is one of the method for finding the uh, resultant vector and uh, by applying the determinant method. Thank you.